Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and I'm here for Maybelline. Hey, Maybelline fans, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and I'm happy to be here with Save That Money Honey 2.0, which is a series where iconic drag queens like me show you how to create incredible looks on a budget. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this look. Beautiful, I know. Let's get started. All right, so I've glued down my eyebrows. To finish covering my eyebrows, I have to show you something that I do all the time. You need to understand the coverage in the Maybelline Super Stay Powder. I mean, it's nuts. It's a powder, right? It's a full coverage powder. I do this all the time, ready? This is my eyebrows that need to be covered, right? Watch this, watch this. Goodbye. This is powder. Look at that. Super Stay Powder is so full coverage and very long lasting, very creamy. I have really come to depend on this powder. I have three or four sets of the entire range of this powder and I use them all the time. This is in Golden Caramel and it's darker than my skin tone but for covering the eyebrows, it's just really nice to go a little darker. I mean, look at that, you guys. Pretty cool, right? So we have to start this look with some foundation and you guys know that on my channel, Trixie Cosmetics TV, we live and we die for the Superstay Foundation. I mean, I discovered this on my channel probably two years ago now. I was doing a Maybelline video and I was just like, does the world know about this? Full, full coverage, very long wearing. I'm trying to match my skin tone here. Sadly, this is me tan. We are gonna go in with the foundation, sis. Hello. Does anybody else talk to yourself while you put makeup on? Just me. So I know that I'm a little weird in that I do a lot of the work on my face while my foundation is wet, but what I like about Superstay is even when it's wet, it, 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 it sort of has a dry down effect. It feels like a little bit velvety. I'm putting on a lot of foundation, but I have actually worn, I've worn Superstay really sheared down out of drag. Photographs beautifully. I look like a normal person. Well, as normal as you can look at 31 when you're completely bald. Something I really, really, really like about Superstay Foundation is it really minimizes texture. I'm getting older. The sides of my nose look like a kitchen sponge, but I can really take this and like create a whole new fantasy on that nose. This foundation is a little dark for me, but honestly, I think in drag it always is good to go, not darker, but a little warmer. And my skin's fairly translucent, like everything looks warm on me because I, you know, Voldemort. My eyebrows are gone and I haven't even touched a concealer. So today I'm interested in doing a lovely, beautiful, graphic, clean black and white eye. You know I love pink, but lately I've been really into clean, graphic, kind of 60s, poppy, drawn on eye makeup. I started doing this type of makeup with just black and white liner when I was touring my show Grown Up and I was playing really big theaters. I wanted the people in the cheap seats to be like, oh my God, I can see her eyelid from space. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo Cream Shadow in Risk Maker. I got this product and it took me a while to try it because I thought because it was more of a cream shadow product, it was going to be not totally matte. It has the softest like demi matte finish that you could use really for anything. And I'm just gonna start to sketch the eyeliner shape. See that? When you're doing these big graphic liner looks like this, I always think it's easiest to start with the base kind of liner. Now that I know where this is, it tells me where I can do the rest of it. Does that make sense? Let's do the liner. I mean, this is a graphic liner look on the top especially, so I think it'd probably be best to start with that. I'm gonna take my little flat brush with my color tattoo cream shadow. And we are about to do really, I mean, a cut crease. My crease, it's not really my crease. It's more of a suggestion of a crease. Loop this around to the inner eye a little bit. So like that's gonna be our eyelid later. Now I'm gonna start to soften the edges of this black line. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it on a brush and then a tip of a clean brush to start to soften it. You see how that's going to become a crease later on? So I'm gonna start to soften that upper part with my Nudes of New York palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade called Self Starter. Self Starter is a very cool brown. See that, and you lay the cream shadow down and put a powder over it, you get a really strong, soft look. I'm loving how that's softening. It's gonna be great. All right, so we have the top done on each side here and I think it's a healthy time to start to do some brows. Let's use the Brow Slim Ultra in Warm Brown. I personally like a warmer brown. The full line of Maybelline brow products is very ash, very cool tone, so I mean, it's pretty universal. And we have an eyebrow and it's all coming together. Listen, if anybody's familiar with the makeup that I do, you know that brow symmetry is not my greatest gift. 
This'll do, this'll do for now. It's time to start to sculpt around some of the brows. So this is Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. It's extremely full coverage, and I'm gonna use it to start to sculpt around my eyebrows. See, it didn't really look like an eyebrow before, but now it's starting to. You guys know I love a lot of the Maybelline concealers, but I will say the Superstay Concealer marries really well with the Superstay Foundation. I mean, it does make sense. Now we got two brows, folks. Two brows, two brows, which is, hey, a very great number of brows to have. I'm going to pause there because I feel like the top of the eye makeup is pretty much getting towards done. And we're going to start to do the eye makeup on the bottom. So I'm going to go back in with my color tattoo and risk maker. And we're going to start to do some liner on the bottom. I want it to wrap around. So I'm going to connect the liner to the top. The reason I'm so fond of cream shadows is they're so forgiving. If you're not happy with it, you can just keep playing with it until it looks the way you want it to look. So I'm going to finish off that little under eye section. I'm going to go back in the Nudes of New York palette, and I'm going to go back in with Self Starter, which is that brown. And that's what we're going to sort of finish this under section with, because blending out the edges with a brown, even for like kind of a gray black look like this, is always going to be easier. And because we did the cream shadow, it grabs so well, and there's so much dimension. So I think the eyes are at a good stopping place for now, and it's time to do the rest of the skin. So I'm going to go in with my Super Stay Concealer and start to do the high planes of my face. Did I start with the mustache? Don't ask me why. By the way, this shade is in number 10, which is fair. And I just always go to fair because I'm, I'm pretty far up there, you guys. So we got the high planes of the face done. So now I'm gonna go in with deep bronze super stay concealer and start to do some of the contouring. I understand that it looks crazy, but I'm trying to make my forehead slightly smaller and it's gonna take some heavy lifting, okay? Dragon makeup is funny because it's illusions, of course, but you're basically like going, if I draw shadowy circles around all my features, that means I look feminine, right? That's looking a lot better, obviously, like, you know, top of the head, there's a lot more dimension now going on, so. Let's start to carve out some cheeks. That's gonna become a cheek. I know it doesn't look like it. You can use a, a sponge for stuff like this, but um, I find a sponge softens a lot, and at this stage in the makeup, I don't want the pigment to go too far. And then I'm gonna cut under the cheek with that first concealer, Fair. And I'm just gonna take a flat brush, and just trying to soften it. I'm gonna go a little deeper right here. I wanna see a little more shadow on the side of my head. We're blending Super Stay Concealer into Super Stay Foundation, so you can see it really just like marries. Then we're gonna do a little bit of jaw. I mean, I'm male and I'm going for, you know, a softer look. I'm gonna use that pigment to start to kind of chisel away at the angular jaw. All right, so we have our face shaded, beautiful, stunning, and we have to do the nose. So I'm gonna take my Super Stay Concealer and Fair. My nose has uh, been criticized by some as being perhaps too theatrical. I want a nose that looks so thin that when it's painted on, you wouldn't think I could even breathe from it. And the way to do it, I start with the lightest shade of concealer. I mean, I know that I'm doing something crazy, but a human, a human like you, a softer application of some of these techniques, you could really, I mean, use in normal life. All right, so there's my lovely nose highlight, stunning. And I'm gonna mix the right color for this because my cheek color is gonna be too dark. I'm gonna use a little bit of the deep bronze, and I'm gonna take a little bit of caramel, and I'm gonna mix these together. Yeah, that's really gonna be perfect for me. See that? Love it, nose. We've done our work with our foundation and our concealers, so the groundwork for the complexion is pretty much done. But we have to set it and uh, forget it. We have the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair. So I'm gonna set all the high planes of the face first with the Fair Powder. Now this is a lot of setting powder, but you guys, I have a lot of makeup on. Definitely powder the top of the nose, the middle of the face, and then I'm gonna take a bigger, sort of a theatrical powder puff, and I'm gonna finish it by really pounding everywhere. And then I'm gonna brush away the extra powder. See, doing that cream shadow with that powder shadow over on the eyes, like look how opaque that is. I love that. So to finish the skin, I like to do powders on top of everything we just did. I know it's a lot, but like I said, I'm a creature. So I'm gonna take my Super Stay Powder in Fair Porcelain. I love this powder, I have a million. And I'm just gonna open it up, take a little bit of it on the puff, into the higher planes of the face. You know, I mean, we're, we really, I mean, we're changing the shapes of my face dramatically, so we're, we're putting on a lot of product here. This series is all about me on a budget, and so I love products I can get multiple uses out of. So this Super Stay Powder in Caramel that I used to cover my eyebrows, I'm now gonna just use it to sort of shade in some of the rest of the face. Please and thank you. I'm gonna start doing a little bit of contouring. This is one of my favorite 
bronzers. This is City Bronzer in 300. I actually have the one and the 200. City Bronzers are really soft and very universal. Not too yellow, not too red. I mean, we're really talking about bronze. And then in the pockets of the cheeks, I'm gonna deepen a little bit. I'm gonna go in with Superstay and Truffle. This is a really deeper shade that obviously I, I would use only for the deepest contours in my face. Up here into the temple. Like look at that side compared to that side. It's a big difference, a lot more definition. Take a little bit down the chin, a little bit across the forehead. So now I've got the City Bronzer in 300 and I'm taking Truffle sort of over it even just to give it more depth. I'm also gonna finish my nose contouring a little bit with Caramel and then I'm gonna highlight lastly with my lightest shade of Superstay that I use just to give it like a little more pop. You know? So we're gonna add some more definition to the eyebrows here and I'm gonna be using my Nudes of New York palette. I'm gonna take Globetrotter and I'm gonna do just a little more definition with the brows because I do want it warmer. So I'm just gonna begin to set the face with, I have my Maybelline Glass Finishing Spray. I've used this a lot. It smells good and I love the way it sets. It doesn't look shiny doesn't look matte. It just for how much makeup I wear, I like something that at the end, just like a casserole, just bakes it all together. So I'm gonna finish off the eye with a little bit more concealer. This is my Maybelline Superstay Concealer in Fair. And I'm gonna use this on a precision brush. This is actually a lip brush. This is a paint on my lid. I mean, yeah, look at the difference. Look at the difference painting it on, come on. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Sky High Mascara. I actually am so happy to have this because I gave mine to Katya and she stole it. And so I got it back, thank God. I mean, I can be a little wilder than you guys because I mean, I listen, like, I'm gonna color all that black. It doesn't matter. But look at how this builds. This mascara is nuts. I'm not a scientist. I don't understand the technology of how they do this, but this mascara is nuts. I'm gonna step off camera. I'm gonna do some liner and lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so, I mean, it's looking beautiful. It's looking stunning, but we need lips. You guys know normally I'm really into like plummy liners, but I have been having like a huge like cinnamon like leather suede sort of color lip phase. I'm gonna go in with raw chocolate and do the outside of the lips first. And then inside that, I'm gonna go in with beige babe just to like blend in the middle. You see how that warms it up and then sort of like just gives it like a gradient. So this is Color Sensational Matte Lipstick and More Buff. Very matte, but very wearable finish. I use them a lot on uh, actually because they stay really well, but they allow me to do lip changes. Oh girl. Oh, girl. This is beautiful. It smells, you guys, just so good. Absolutely. Look at the material. So I'm gonna put on some blush quick. I picked out something lovely. I picked out Peach Fit Me Blush. Fit Me Blushes are so easy, you guys. Really, anybody could wear any one of these shades. This is what makes them so easy to work with. Just like warm it up a little bit. Look at that. Ah, uh, listen, you do not have makeup on until your blush is on. That's just how I feel. A little bit in the forehead, warm it up a little bit. I mean, I'll admit I like a lot of blush, okay? If we're being vulnerable on the Maybelline YouTube channel, I like a lot of blush. So what? I'm gonna finish off the look with a little bit of Master Chrome and Rose Gold. If you haven't had this, you guys, whoo, it is a highlighter. You're about to see the highlighter. Ooh, girl, look at that. Hello, hi, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Oh, I love that. Okay. I have to keep going. I have to put a little bit under the brow. Oh, and just a little bit on the very tip of my nose. You guys, I'm going to put on my look and I'll be right back. Thank you for joining me here on the Maybelline channel. What was your favorite part? I mean, I have to say, you have to try the Superstay foundation. It is one of my favorite foundations. The Master Chrome Highlighter. I mean, look at it on the cheeks. Just look at it. That is so beautiful. I'm wearing it in rose gold, but I have all the shades, you guys, and they're really beautiful. I also have to say, sleeper hit, I think that Maybelline probably makes some of the best brow products on the market. So no matter what kind of brows you have, I use the pencils and the tattoo gels in drag, and then out of drag, I use the brow fast sculpt, the like brow mascaras. Change my life. Make sure you comment below and let me know what your favorite product here was. I'm interested, I wanna know. And if you like to watch me do makeup, come over to my channel. I'm doing makeup, I'm cooking with Easy Bake Ovens, I'm giving you a tour of my Barbie collection. We've truly got it all over there. If you like more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the Maybelline YouTube Studio. There are some incredible makeup looks on this channel and you have to check it out. Thank you for letting me join you today here on the Maybelline YouTube channel and I will see you soon. Goodbye.